Hi, my name is Olivier Champenois and I'm the lead race engineer of the Tiger Air Porsche Formula E team. Today I'm going to talk about the chassis and the bodywork of a 99X electric. Compared to other race series, there are quite a few specificities in Formula E. First, the monocoque that you see there um, includes the survival cell for the driver, but also uh, some space for the battery. So that's quite specific. So on top of that, the wheels are more covered than other race series, which reduces drag in general. Another specificity is that there is no rear wing and the majority of the rear downforce is produced by the rear diffuser. This solution gives a very good aerodynamic efficiency, producing less drag. All bodywork and chassis parts are actually specific to Formula E and are supplied by the FIA designated manufacturer. Well, generally, the racing on CD track is not very different to other type of racing. The main specificity is that the bodywork and chassis is made strong enough for various reasons. So first, on CD tracks, there are some places where there are elevation changes, uh, compressions and jumps, like in Rome, uh, where the chassis has to be very strong. Um, also, the drivers in Formula E typically take these concrete curbs um, very aggressively and try and gain time doing so. And then finally, Formula E races uh, involve close contacts, so contact with competitors, but also with the walls in non-city tracks, meaning the bodywork has to sustain these contacts. The chassis, the monocoque in itself, and all structural elements of the Formula E car have to follow technical regulations that are quite strict and which involve passing static and dynamic tests. Another type of regulation to follow is the fact that the minimum thickness of the skid block at the end of the race has still to be 3 mm. So the chassis in itself, the monocoque, is just one part that you see there. But in total, all the structural elements, including all screws and small fixtures, um, represent around 1,500 parts uh, on the Formula E car. Typically, as with most modern race cars, the chassis and the bodywork is made of carbon composite. So it's a material that is used for its high rigidity to weight ratio. The monocoque itself that you see there weighs around 90 kilo. As a reference, the total car weight is 903 kilo in Formula E, including driver and the battery itself weighs 400 kg. Then we also make a difference between the structural parts and the non-structural parts in general, like pure bodywork parts. So besides the monocoque, the chassis that you see there, there are also some important structural elements that connect to it. Uh, first is obviously the, the front nose that comes here. The front suspension connects here with the steering system. Um, then under the monocoque, there's the floor with the skid block attached to it. And then finally at the back, the rear crush or the rear structure, which we also call gearbox carrier. Then comes the engine cover or rear cover. And finally, all the elements that come underneath, which uh, starting from the back with the diffuser, the floor and the skid block that connects into it. Then we also add some ballast that we typically put at the front and at the rear on the chassis to make sure that the weight of the car uh, matches the regulations. So starting from the monocoque, the bare monocoque that you see there, it takes around two days for us to fit all our lines and looms into it and get it ready for an assembly into a full car. Then at the racetrack, when we need to change chassis, we actually have a spare chassis ready to go. And it's just a question of assembling a powertrain into it and getting it ready in one hour or two. So in general, the regulations are very strict on what we can change on bodywork. There are only a few little things we can do. The first thing is delivery. It's free. Then there are some possibilities to adjust the bodywork parts that are not structural within a range of 50 millimeters. And then finally, we can tape any hole in the bodywork and typically we do that for aerodynamic efficiency. In Formula E, all chassis and bodywork parts are provided by the FIA designated manufacturer. So it means Porsche only manufactures a very limited amount of parts itself and this involves the rear casing, so the rear structure that holds the rear suspension and that incorporates the gearbox and the powertrain. Yeah. 
The most important parts of our Formula E car in terms of aerodynamics are the following. First, there is the front wing, which incorporates the front wing flaps. There is the rear diffuser. These are the main elements producing downforce. There are also some important elements like the underfloor, the keel, the skid blocks and the front fenders. And that's it. Yeah. In terms of safety, in case of a crash, there are some important elements. The most obvious one is the halo on top of the monocoque that protects the driver's head. There's also the roll hoop um, that is there to also protect the driver. Then for the front impact, there's the nose uh, with the front crash structure. There are some side uh, cones that you can't see which also protect the drivers from a, a crash from the side. And then finally, the rear crash structure that comes here um, and that also protects the driver from a crash from the back. Yeah.